This is lesson one of our video series, Estimation. I would like to start here because um, I've noticed a lot of children are struggling with estimation and I'm uh, hearing from parents that you're not sure how to tell them to estimate. Obviously, an estimate is an approximate answer. It's not an exact answer. And the reason we want children to estimate is so that they see that their final answer is, is reasonable. It serves as a checking uh, method. It's very important for the children to understand that an estimate should be easy and in your head. I um, recommend front-end estimation, um, and I'll show you what I mean. The first problem is 52 times um, 46. And so 52 could round to 50 or it could round to 60. And it's closer to 50. So I would say 50 times 50. 5 times 5 is 25. So 50 times 50 is 2,500. Okay. So I know my answer is going to be around 2,500. Number 2, 34 times 71. 34 could round to 30 or it could round to 40, but 30 is a better choice. 70 or 80, it's obviously closer to 70. So 3 times 7 is 21, so 30 times 70 is 2,100. And the children know to use the zero pattern because there's one zero on the 30 and one zero on the 70. They need two zeros in their answer. 876 times 62. And so what I'm talking about, front end estimation, uh, as you see in these two examples, we're going to look at the 8 and we're going to decide if this, prop, this number, 876, should round to 800 or 900. And it is closer to 900 times 60. 9 times 6 is 54. So 900 times 60 is 54,000. I have three zeros, so I need to put three zeros on my estimate. Okay, one more. 150 times 45. I would round that 150 to 200 times 50. 2 times 5 is 10. Uh, so 200 times 500 is 10,000. Now, um, I want the children to begin to see that we round it up on both of these problems. So this estimate is an overestimate. So your, my actual answer is not going to be near 10,000. So that's also helpful to realize. We've rounded up. So I might suggest in this instance that we round down as well. And so well, let's say 400, I mean 100, excuse me, times 50. 1 times 5 is 5. So 100 times 50 is 5,000. So actually, my exact answer will be between 5,000 and 10,000. I really like ranges on estimates as well to, to understand which is an overestimate and which is an underestimate. Okay, let's look at a couple division problems. We are not really at division, although there are some division problems on homework. And division estimates are different from multiplication. We don't round the number um, in the standard way, but we make the numbers friendly uh, with the divisor. So I'm going to think of this 60 as a 6, and I'm going to look at the first two digits of this number, 49, and I'm going to think of something, a, a, a multiple of 6 that gets me close to 49. I know that 6 times 7 is 42. I know that 6 times 8 is 48. Oh, so I'm going to change this uh, 49 to a 48, and then I'm going to zero out the 2. So 
So instead of 492, I get 480 divided by 60. And then I'm going to think multiplication. 6 times 8 is 48. So 8 times 60 is 480. Again, the zero, the zero pattern. I have zero in the 60, which gives me a zero in my um, dividend. So I don't need to add any zeros or place any zeros after the 8 because 60 times 8 equals 480. So this would be correct. So the estimate for number 5, 492 divided by 60 is about 8. All right, 574 divided by 73. Again, I'm going to think of this as 7, and I'm going to draw a box around the first two digits, and I know that 7 times 8 is 56. So I'm going to change the 574 to, to 560 divided by 70, and I know that 7 times 8 is 56, so 8 times 70 is 560. Let's do one more. Let's do the same problem, uh, 574, but divide it by uh, 7. Okay, so again, I already know that I'm going to change this to 560 because it's friendly. 56 is friendly with 7 because it's a multiple of 7. And I know that 7 times 8 is 56. So 80 times 7 would be 560. So I, do, I need to do something to get 560. Okay, that's the little lesson. If you have questions, feel free to shoot them my way. Thank you.